what is going on guys welcome back to another video of android application development in android studio in this video we are going to learn about live data why it is used and how it is used so let's get started so this is our simple application where we have main activity and main view model this we have created in last video where we have learned about view model so in main activity we have simple text and a button so initially we are setting count to zero when we click on that button it will increase the count so this we have added in view model and from main activity we are calling that increase count and then we are setting that count to the text view text so here we are setting the text so if you run it we are increasing the count and we are setting it this is fine but when to use live data so here you can see whenever we are increasing the count it is not automatically reflected in the ui whenever we click on the button it increases the count and we have to manually set the text so what if we have more than one button what if we are increasing the count or decreasing count from any other button so let's see if here i have another button and let's give this subtract button subtract count and it should be to bottom of button now here in main activity what i will do same way i will create another button subtract a button that will be button find view id r dot id dot sub button so with this sub button if we click on this dot set on click listener will decrease the count so let's create method in main view model copy it paste it let it be decrease count and count minus minus so here we can decrease the count first so here if i only decrease the count but i don't set the data if i run it let's see what happens let's say i have added now i have subtracted the count has been decreased but it is not being displayed if i click multiple times and then if i click on add you can see the actual value is minus 11 so we have to set every time so if we want to achieve that what we have to do we have to copy this paste it over here now it will work here every time we increase or decrease that means every time we update the count value in view model we have to set the data so to solve this problem live data comes into picture so what live data does is it holds the value and provide us observable so that we can observe the data if it changes then we can directly reflect in the ui so how to implement that so here what we will do instead of this count variable we will initialize it with live data it will be live data and value will be zero so you can see over here cannot create instance of abstract class so live data is abstract class we cannot directly use it we will use mutable live data so mutable live data means we can change the value so here we have initialized mutable live data and now here count dot value equals to count dot value so we have to add by one what we will do we have to do plus one in this way it will change the value of this count inside this mutable live data for decrease also we'll do same thing it will be minus so it will increase by one it will decrease by one so now what we can do in main activity instead of setting it three times we'll delete it this also we can delete this also we can delete here what we will do view model dot count so this is the variable that is mutable live data dot observe so we have the observe method it will provide us the value whenever the value changes so here here we have to pass the owner and the observer so owner will be context this and observer will be one observer object it will give us integer so it will be let's name it count so here we will get the count from this count mutable live data now we can set text view dot text equals to same thing we can do count is count so in this way whenever we change the value we don't have to set every time so we have to just update the data the ui will be updated from here in observe let's run and test add subtract so you can see it is working as expected so every time we don't have to change the ui now one more thing is from here we have increase and decrease count if you do view model dot count dot value equals to let's say 100 now run it so the value became 100 but this should not happen because from view model only the value is initialized as 0 it should be 0 at first 
from here we should not change anything from this method we can increase this method we can decrease but we should not be able to set directly the value so to prevent this what we will do here we will make this private this count variable if we make it private only this function can access outside this we can't access if you see over here it will give the error that we can't access that means now it is gone but here we have to access we have to observe we should not able to set the value but we should be able to observe so for that what we will do here every time we create a private variable we will make it underscore count so here underscore count underscore count everywhere we will make underscore count and we will expose one count variable for this main activity so here we will create a value count so that it can't be changed and it will be of type live data now if we give the type mutable live data it can be changed if we give live data it can't be changed so let's give the type int and whenever user wants to see this value we will return get equals to underscore count so this means main activity can access this count to observe the value that means it will only get the value but from here we can change the value of this underscore count so this is done in this way we will create the live data so whenever we are exposing live data we will use live data and whenever we are changing the value we will use mutable live data if you run it it's working as expected so we will be using this live data in upcoming videos so this concept should be clear if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye